Oh yeah, it's nippy, all right. <sighs> all right, how? Yeah, down a little bit further that way. That's perfect. All right, good. Wait. Good. I should be okay. You gonna turn your phone off? Nope. I'm gonna take a picture of me being taking a picture off. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> Thank you. That's great. I'll go with one. It's funny when I make that face, I actually drool a little bit. <laughs> Hey, I'm here with Richard, and uh, he is a client, a fan, and a, a now a Valhalla veteran. And uh, and his claim to fame is that he is from Wales, a Welshman. And uh, here's what I found out, uh, is that there is British, Britain, mm -hmm. and then underneath that, there's different things. There's English. Scottish, English, and Welsh. And Northern Irish. And Northern Irish? Yes. See, you learn something You learn something new every day. And my other insight was uh, <laughs> re the Forge World interview slash thing uh, is that uh, even though you think it's similar cultures, yeah. it's, actually, it's actually not. There are, there are cultural differences. Anyway, but let's talk about gaming. So, uh, what's your what's your story with war games? What armies do you play? That sort of thing. We play 40k Necrons and Tau. I play very old rules for fantasy orcs. That's it. And I uh, um, started playing War Machine about 20 hours ago. Oh yeah, yeah. I taught uh, him and uh, Yin how to play because uh, he is a, he and his friend Yin came out. Yes. Um, and uh, so, yeah, we taught them to play War Machine. And it is, isn't it a great game? It's, very it's good. pretty deep. It's pretty good. And we played a 25-point battle, which I think was about 5 to 10 miniatures a side. Yep. How many miniatures did I have? Well, we I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I had 7 miniatures. We had 14. Mm -hmm. We had a 10-man unit, sniper, 2 jacks, and a war caster. Yeah. And there's, there's a lot of things you can do that game. It's, it's really fantastic. Okay, so talk about Necrons. What's the deal? So, oh, but hold on. How long have you been playing? I've been, what, 40k? Or 40k. 40k. About uh, six months, just me and you. Six months, you right. from each other. Right. So it's just, it's, you, you haven't played anybody except Yen? I've played, I've played Josh, and he's the only other person I've played. Okay. Wow. Well, that's how I started. I probably played for six months, just me and two of my friends. You know, it never occurred to me there would be other people to play <laughs> no, besides no, them. Yeah. You know, I'm like, who plays this game? It's this weird, it's obscure of, thing. Loads of people like our games workshop, but we're about 15 years older than them. They're all kids, right. so it's a little Okay, so talk about Necrons. Why did you like Necrons? What's the deal with Necrons? I played Necrons in Dawn of War, the first Dawn of War game, and I thought, wow, I quite like these, so I picked up the army. And then they changed the codex. About two months later, which was annoying. Oh, well, wait, that was annoying? Well, I think you'd be over the moon. They well, just gave him a smorgasbord of new I things. I bought a brand new codex and then had to oh, okay. get rid of that codex and buy another brand new codex. Right. So, but yeah, it was. I, that. Yeah, I got all the models were still useful, so I didn't Good. buy pariahs or anything. What do you want to? Uh, what do you want to do? With your net, like what? What are you going to add to your Necrons army now? That Some you, of the yeah. the new models with the heavier weapons, because I fight Yen's Grey Knights all the time, and they've got good armor saves. So the normal Necron warrior weapons are not just not good enough. It's like firing pea shooters. Out, so I'm going to buy some of the heavier armed vehicles and units. Right. And I want a night size for my things for the Lich Guard, but I don't think they're coming out of the way. No. Soon. I I've heard flyers are coming out at the end of the end of the thing. So, uh, tell us about uh, your experience, uh, well, how did you decide to come to Valhalla? How did that start? Yin just said, we should go to, when the first Valhalla was on, he said, we should go to that, and I said, yeah, yeah, that would not That be was funny. last year. Yeah, the first right. February one, and it was just sort of, it was a throwaway comment, like, yeah, we're never going to do that, but right. the second one was the on, and the then dream the was one born. was on, and, right. and then we just, I started saving last, for money, in uh, last July. Took me to Christmas to save enough money. Wow! Yep. That's fantastic. Dedication. Yeah. So how has it been? It's been good. It's been an experience. I don't want to go home. I prefer to stay here. But I have to go back to my my job, my life. Bless. <laughs> it's depressing.
classic. Yeah, we will. Uh, we'll 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 abduct Richard and make him stay. <laughs> is it abduction like, oh, if you no. want to stay? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. So you two got excited about it. You're new to the game, yeah. and uh, you came out to uh, to this whole thing. Yeah. So uh, all right. All right. Well, I guess that's well. Actually, to just tell us a little bit about, I don't know, like personal factoid or personal some talent fame. or claim to fame. Um, I have no talents. <laughs> His talent <laughs> is not having any talents. Talentless. My claim to fame. I went to see uh, my mum won a competition when she used to work for Dixon's. I don't know if you have Dixon's. I don't think so. It's an electrical store, and uh, we went to see Friends being filmed, the TV show. And that was the only other time I've been to the, the U.S. And that was okay. four days. It's good. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot, Richard. It's great to have you out. Okay. Thank you. All right. We're going. Adam's straightening himself up. Hey, I'm here with Adam. Hey, Big D, we here. call him. I, I don't know. I just made that up. <laughs> so we're with Adam. He's a client, a fan, and now a, a Valhalla veteran. Yeah. So uh, tell us about the projects we've done for you. Uh, well, you've done a lot. Uh, I got an entire army of Tau done, an entire army of Black Templars, uh, two individual Necrons, but that's for my friend Kevin, and I just got this really shout out to Kevin. Yep, and a really excellent Sisters of Battle army. Mm -hmm. uh, and in the works, I've got some custom sculpts, orcs, and going to be starting Minotaurs soon. And I've been convinced to start up uh, Infinity. Uh, Minotaurs is Beastmen. Yes. That Beastman army that I came up with. Right? Will it work? Nobody knows, but it'll be awesome no matter what. Yep. I'm pretty excited. Tell you what, if it doesn't work, I'll switch it out for something else. That's awesome. That's a, that's a standing offer. And now it's on video. I think, yeah, uh, yeah that, that, was, uh, that was a thing that I said. Okay, so uh, where are you from? I'm from Naperville, Illinois, which is about 45 minutes southwest of Chicago. Right, and you were you were at uh, Adepticon with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, I actually yeah. Uh, snuck into Adepticon to hang with you guys. VIP tickets, which meant he got to sit behind our table with us. Yep. So there's that. And uh, Adam's quite a character. Uh, he uh, he throws out about uh, ten joke bombs an hour, <laughs> and uh, eight are duds and two are hits. Uh, but the hits make me laugh out loud. So, uh, all right, so tell us how, uh, how Valhalla's been so far. Valhalla has been just excellent. Uh, gaming all the time, but you're not forced to do it. You can game whenever you want. You know, uh, you know I came here and I learned how to play Infinity, which is why I'm going to be starting my own army. I got some practice on War Machine and Hordes. I got a standing date to uh, learn Fantasy later to, to go with that Beastman army. Uh, I've played five or six games of 40k, trying out the new sisters, and they're working out wonderfully. And, uh, yeah, anything you could want, you, they got. Yeah, it, it is. So, how did you, how did you, what, what was the tale of, like, how you got here? Like, how did you hear about it? When did you decide to come out? How was the flight? Okay, uh, well, uh, about Valhalla, it was... Shortly after I finished my Black Templars project, and I was setting up something else, it's like, hey, uh, I think it was Sarah e emailed back, like, hey, you ever heard of Valhalla? And I'm like, the ancient death place for Vikings? <laughs> like, no, our event. And I'm like, oh, that sounds pretty cool. And then I forgot about it for a while, and then I got emailed again. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess I could slow down the buying of projects to put some money aside to go to that. And I'm so glad I did. Uh, the flight, uh, well, I don't have too many positive things to say about my flight. Uh, the airline which I used, which shall name, rena remain nameless, uh, not only screwed up my return trip by pushing it a whole day earlier, but on the way here, they uh, put my luggage on the wrong flight. So I didn't get it till 15 hours after I landed. Right. Yeah, that was a... But it was in time for the first night up here, right? Yeah, yeah, I got yeah, it. They, they actually brought it out to you. Yeah, so... so. That, but that was a bit of a scare. Like, what clothes shall I wear tomorrow? Oh, uh, yeah, everything. It's like, all I have on me is what's in my pockets, and what I had is carry-on in the flight, which was a book. And, because uh, I yeah. pur purchased this... Uh, Plan B was to weave the book pages together into a suit. <laughs> if I had to, yeah. 
And I, what, what annoyed me most is I had purposely bought the luggage just for the flight, and I, made, I measured it at home, it was all fine. I showed up and they're like, it's two inches too long, you have to check that bag. Oh, brutal. So I was like, oh, well, there's $25 uh, I'm not giving to BTP. Right. Yeah. So. Awesome. Yeah, Adam slapped his wallet down on the counter. He's like, you know, you may as well just take it. Yeah. Excellent. Here, just, D- just direct, keep it. direct deposit options available. <laughs> All right, well, that's great. Well, we're glad you're here. Thanks. Uh, I'm just glad to thanks be here. Thanks for sharing.